In preparing for the game against Southend on Saturday, it must be one yourself and the lads are really looking forward to. Of course, it's another game, another opportunity. Obviously, we've we're on a good, rich vein of form at the moment, but we we're not resting on our laurels. We need to make sure we continue to to work hard and improve on the training pitch and give Southend our full focus. Saturday is. Everyone thinks because of the bottom of the league and they've only got five points that it's going to be a, a, a bit of a gimme and an easy fixture. It's really not. Um, I've watched the last three or four games that they've played in and they've actually performed better than the points and results have suggested. So we have to be make, we have to make sure we're on it and, and playing the way we are playing, both with and without the ball. Yeah, back on the training ground today. How was training this morning? Great. Um, the lads that played on on Tuesday were were rested again to to recover in time for Saturday and. The other squad members that, that trained were excellent. I must say the tempo and intensity of the training session was fantastic. And that's all we can ask of them, to keep driving standards, keep improving, so when they get the opportunity, they can take it. We've made real progress on the field in the last month or so, and we're looking for our fifth win in a row on Saturday. Do you still feel like we're some way off where you want us to be, or are you happy yeah. with the progress? No, no, never happy, never satisfied. I know we've got a long way to go. We're not happy, we're not happy with where we're at. Yes, we're... We're satisfied with the recent results, but we have to have that hunger and desire to kick on and keep going. And we must focus now on the next game, not look too far ahead. We focus on Southend on Saturday and make sure we go and attack that game and try and get three points. We spoke to Peter Kioso after Tuesday's when at Scunthorpe, and he spoke about dialogue between you and him and you asking him to get involved in more goals. Is that one thing that you're looking for from your team? Goals from all areas, really? Yeah, we want to attack in numbers, um, especially when we gain possession on, on regains and counter-attacks, but also in general play we want to get bodies and numbers in the box because the law of averages suggests the more bodies you have in the box, the more chance we've got of scoring. Um, it's great for Peter that he, he got himself in there and it was a lovely tidy finish. The, the work and the build-up to the goal was excellent. You know, Nathan's bit of skill was great, but for me it was the final pass and decision was the most important bit, the way he picked Peter out and we, we slotted the, the ball home, which was great. Big result for us, but as I said, on to Saturday now. News of the government's post-lockdown tier system came out today. Obviously, we, we're in tier three, we can't have fans yeah. back in the ground yet, and that's naturally disappointing, but just how important will the fans be when they are back in the ground, whenever that day comes? Vital, and hopefully we're closer to where we want to be when that time comes, and we're playing well and with confidence. Um, I do feel for the players, because... They're so proud to play for Bolton Wanderers and they, they love playing for this club and they just want to build that connection with, and rapport with the fans. And the fans, you know, I want them in the ground to see what we're trying to do live and to, to appreciate that we're working hard and trying to get this club back where it belongs. We want to have that connection with them and that can only happen when they're allowed back in the stadiums. As usual, I'll ask you about the injury situation. Aside from the obvious exceptions, have we come through this Gunthorpe game with a a relatively clean bill of health? It looks that way. Um, as I said, they've had second day recovery today for the ones that started the game and the other lads have trained brilliantly well. So everyone's in good spirits. Harry Brockbank is getting closer and closer to full fitness again. Uh, so things are on the up. You touched on Southend earlier in the interview. You've probably had the opportunity to see them play on a couple of occasions. What are you expecting from them? A tough, in? tough game. Look, as I said, people expect this game to be easy. It's not going to be easy. They've... They've really played well the last three or four fixtures and, and not got what they deserved. Uh, they press in numbers, they have good legs and energy in the team, some young players that are, are out to prove their worth. Um, so we have to make sure that we, first and foremost, match their effort and intensity, apply ourselves the right way and then hopefully in the end our quality will take over. Yeah, how important is it that, that we guard against complacency and just go about our own business? Yeah, we're, there's, no, there's no room for complacency because at the minute we're just mediocre. We don't want to be mediocre, we don't want mediocrity. You know, there's, there's loads of teams that, that win a couple, lose a couple, draw a couple, they're ten a penny. They are. Um, we want to be a team that win consistently and to do that we have to make sure we give Saturday our full focus and attention.